Namaste. Have you been? Visualization is helpful for stilling the mind and channeling the energies. So what do we visualize upon during meditation? We can internalize shapes. And for today, let me talk about the spia, the lingam. These are continuing discussion on that principle. And last time, I talked about you know, the three positions. There are like 12 points in the body where the lingam can be found, but three of them are vital. The kandanadi, yeah, the center being the swadishtana, yeah, and then here, laterally, yeah, the center being the ajna and the top of the brain. Yeah, the center being the Shashra Chakra. All right, so the uh, Kandanadi, yeah, the uh, linga of the hips, is positioned upright. Yeah, so from the tail, it goes out to the side and ends at the bottom of the Manipura Chakra. And then just by visualizing this upright position of the lingam, you assess your spine. Yeah, so when you do that, yeah, so with your awareness yeah, channeled to that shape of the upright sphere, right away, yeah, you assess the spine and channeling the energy because the spine would have to be open. Yeah, so it has to be lifted, but not tight, rigid. All right, and then from here, here, it's lateral, it's expansive. Yeah, so from the back of the nostrils behind the uvula, it extends to the side and up, you know, where the soft spot yeah, can be found. And the center is the Ajna Chakra. And then by yeah, well, first yeah, lifting the eyebrows up, and expanding to the side. Yeah, so this is like the external awareness, uh, the, the third eye. So we go past beyond our physical senses. That's why it's lateral, like that. Yeah, it's expand, expansive. Yeah. The Kandanadi is mostly the physical yeah, entities and the energetic elements there. Yeah, the breath, the bandhas, and the other internal, the bottom chakras, mostly physical. And the yeah, senses of the physical body. And then here, it's expansive. We go beyond yeah, our external yeah, realm. Yeah, so we yeah, become one with all. Yeah. So elements which promote the kandanadi are mostly physical. Asana, pranayama. All right. And then samudras too. And off the mat of services like taking care of the body and the shakarmas. In here, it's mostly meditation. Yeah, meditation, chanting, mudras, yeah, visualization. So you go external, right? And in here, yeah, it's positioned flat. So from yeah that point where the ashna lingam ends, it goes out to the side, and it um uh, starts where the pineal gland is, yeah, between the intersection of the spine and the neck. Yeah, so that's the start, and it goes out to the side, and then the eye is the Shahasra Chakra. And then just by visualizing this flat surface, that's the state of Sattva, non-reacting, passive. You just observe without judging. Yeah, so you become one with your divine yeah, identity. All right. So the Kandanadi, so the Linga of the hips, is mostly like what? The uh, Tama and the Raja Gunas, yeah, the physical and the energetic anatomy. All right. And then here yeah, is mostly your, well, yeah, external awareness. So this is the seat of spirituality, actually. Yeah, mostly meditation. By lifting your optical nerves and massaging your optical muscles there and then visualizing the lateral shape of the spear, you expand your awareness. Yeah. And then also here are uh, the nada. Yeah, the unbaked sound. That's why chanting, yeah, praying, singing, those are the, the techniques yeah, you can do to promote this one. And then here is stillness, silence, just meditating upon yeah, your uh, spiritual divinity, so to speak. Yeah, and outside, it, it means you know, not passing judgment, just observing you know, without us creating any more samskaras. So it's really passive, non-reacting. So this is our spiritual identity. Yeah, we all come from that passive spiritual element, yeah, which is yeah, really, uh, it's seedless. Yeah. So, so from the body, yeah, outside, yeah, and then back to the self. And there's another one here, actually, yeah, the heart. Yeah. The heart is mostly the service part. Yeah, the promotion and uh, the tolerance of the goodwill, yeah, promotion of the goodwill for all. So you can actually meditate. And here, the sphere is really expansive, wide. 
Yes, I could feel it like from yeah, that point where the Manipura chakra ends, it goes out. Yeah, and it ends here. And there's another one here in the throat, yeah, like that. Yeah, but the three ones I've mentioned, yeah, the Kanda, the Ajna, and the Shashwara chakra, they are, I say, the, the most uh, important yeah, in and channeling the energies because the the good the good of the heart just will shine out if you promote right for example service teaching yeah, tolerance understanding yeah and then this is natural for us yeah when we allow yeah, the goodness of the heart to shine through we also develop the yeah, heart space okay so i will be exploring more about this and giving you more tips and drills and exercises you know, which you can do yeah to promote them yeah, thank you, and I'll catch you in the next one. Namaste.